Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron here from Inaccess Security Systems. In today's video, I want to show you how to, uh, you know, enable or, you know, fire up a WX system from scratch, okay? So I'm going to show you how to address the 4 amp power supply, okay? Also, how to address the uh, touch sense keypad, okay? And as you can see here, my readers are offline, so I will show you how to enable the RS-45 reader ports. Again, this is uh, my demo kit with the Protégé WX system from ICT, okay? So let's have a look at how we can program all this, okay? All right, so from the main page, or sorry, the home page, we need to go to Wizards, and then we select the Expander Wizard, okay? So in, with WX, what I like to say always is you just if you want to quickly fire up a system, you can start from the top wizard to the bottom wizard, and then at least you have the basic access control and security system created with a few access levels and so on, okay? In this video, though, I'm going to show you how to address the modules, okay? So this is the first step. So under the, um, the wizard um, for the uh, expanders, I'm go going to uh, step two for auto detection. Okay, so you can see here now I have one keypad being detected, all right, and the power supply also, okay? You can see the serial numbers uh, of these, and then you can see if they're registered online. Yeah, obviously, they are not. So if I click on continue here, the system is then telling you what it's going to do, so, okay? So if I save this, it's going to create, uh, or sorry, address the keypad as the first keypad, which is true, and then the uh, uh, power supply as the first analog expander. Okay, so uh, if you're building a new system and you have more modules being currently installed, you can always manually add them. Okay, so you don't need to have the module installed, uh, you know, to be able to create the module and start programming the system. But in this example, I just want to enable, you know, the devices that I have on this training kit. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and continue. Then the system will save the settings, uh, create the new modules in the system, and also reboot them. Okay, so within the next couple of seconds, if I go um, here, under, okay, so under the monitoring page, under events, I can see that uh, here, A1, and keypad 1 is now registered. Okay, so if I go to the home page, sorry, here, I have no health issues other than the partitions are disarmed. So if I go to expanders, expander addressing, I can see them online and registered. So I have my keypad, uh, obviously the controller itself, and the, the, eight, uh, the four amp power supply, sorry, that's online. Okay, now let's fix this uh, flashing uh, blue-green issue on the readers. Okay, they are flashing like this because they are currently uh, programmed for RS-45 mode. So because the system defaults with Wigan, I'm going to have to switch this. So from the expanders section here, I'm, I'm going to reader expanders. On my main onboard reader expander, I select ICT4E5, and then I can save, restart the module, and if I'm following the events, this is the event when I set the module update. Usually takes about maybe 30 seconds. Reader one is enabled and the readers are online. If I badge a new card now, access the night event and I can see the, uh, the details, okay? So this was how to address modules and also configure the reader port to RS-45 with the ICT Project WX. I hope you liked the video. Remember, Nexus is the Canadian distributor of ICT products. If you need help with quotes or technical support, just go to inaccess.com and then you'll find the correct addresses to reach us, all right? If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please send these uh, comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer you quickly, all right? My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching.